Okay, this is day five from when I started shaving for you guys. We already did two shaves. Day five from the first time. Now you can see I still don't have ingrown hairs. But now my hair is starting to bud back again. If you look under there, the hair is finally coming back. And you can see here it's coming up the skin. This is when you have to shave. Because if you let this period of time pass, even though it's minimized because we drag, perpendicular drag, the hair is coming straight out. However, because our hair is curly, it will eventually curl back in and start to create ingrown hairs. So number one, I want to suggest to you, remember that I said before, these type of razor blades, at this point, they, when you use them, whether it be double or triple, dual action, when you use them, at this point, because they slanted on an angle, they slide over the hair, which in turn cut at an angle, which will cross them when they grow in to curl in, or they get missed. And then you think you got a clean slave, but you just slice the hair a little closer and it start to bud in. That creates that. But we're going to show you how when you do the perpendicular drag, you slice it clean which forces it to come straight out, which give you time to prevent ingrowing hairs. Number one, I always suggest get a brand new blade. I never use reused blades because, again, that can cause problems. It's dull or not as sharp. And two, you don't want no dirty blade. So, number one, we get the blade, new blade, put it on. Again, you want to try to have it hanging out about that much. And then next thing you want to do, is get yourself the smoothest shaving cream you can get. So we got this here, and you go in circular motion. You get enough. And remember what we're doing? You want to get that water hot as you can stand it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm in Arizona, and the water is naturally heated up because it's hot here. But because we got a hot water heater, of course, it's triple action hot so when i tell you that this, this water is really hot man i'm telling you it's hot but you know what it's to our benefit and you know i don't know how your water come out i don't have to do anything to my water my water come out the pipe hot now so i got a good amount of shaving cream here now i'm gonna get this hot water like i told you i know you have probably laughing man but i ain't playing I barely can stand it. Woo! It's hot. So I'm gonna take this here. Mmm. And what you wanna do is you just let that heat get all up in your face and your pores and let it sit real good. Cause all you're doing is really softening up the pores. The hair extends a little bit and it allows the drag to be clean and smooth as possible. And that's all we really doing. You know what I mean? This is not rocket science type of stuff. But again, okay, I'm going to do it one more time. Get a little shaving cream in. And again, this is not hard to maintain. And, you know, it takes practice. I'm not going to lie about that. It do take some practice. That's why I don't speed up these videos. I show you everything because I tend to want you to see everything I'm doing. But at the end of the day, bro, you do got to take some practice. But I'm going to show you how you could take some time and you win time by put a little shaving cream like that on your hand on your arm and you put this in your hand and you just perpendicular hold it perpendicular to your wrist and drag that's all you're doing is a call i call it a perpendicular drag now let's get this heat up here it's hot Ooh. all right let's get one more heat head of this heat mm. Woo-wee. Oh man, squeeze some of that wood out. Mm, 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 mm. Of course, you're gonna have to do the other side because it'll cool down a little bit. But that's some good heat. I like that. Okay, so I tend to just get a little cream. So I tend to start on this side first. I like to start with my left hand because my left hand is. I'm pretty trained after a while, but my right hand is better than my left hand. But I like to start with my left hand. All right. So, again, putting it in your pinky. Three fingers in the front, one pinky in the back. Put your, Drop your thumb right there. 
Then you're going to come right here. Everything is nice and soft and warm. Pull right there. Perpendicular. Drag. Perpendicular. Drag. Drag. See that? You get a perpendicular drag. And I'll let you see the hair that's coming off. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. So then you're going to do it again right here. Perpendicular. And just glide and drag that. Come right there to the mustard. You can see some areas where it looked like the hair. I waited an extra day because I wanted you to see what it looked like right when the hair might curl back. So if you see right here, but we catching all that right now. Now you're going to have to do a couple of strokes to get that smooth finish, especially when it's right at this point where it's about to curl. So you can control whether you get ingrown hands or not. You have to make sure you stay on top of yourself and by you not letting it grow. Now, if you're going to be clean shaven like this, you can't play around. But if you want to be, go ahead and grow it out now. But like I said, if this is going to be on your part. Ingrown hands is not guaranteed. You can control it. Perpendicular. Drag. 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 Now you come right here. Come. Th throw your elbow straight down. In front of you. Come up. With your elbow per right there. Down. Come down right here. And pull it into your chest and your stomach. And come up and go. Perpendicular drag. Perpendicular drag. That's all. Perpendicular drag. So you come about right here, halfway. Again, put the elbow in the middle. Pull tight. Perpendicular drag. Show you this hair a little bit. That's a little the buds of hair that's coming out of there. All right. Now, on this side of the face, it cooled down a little bit, so you won't go. You won't go heat heat it up a little bit more. So you put the little sugar cream on this side. Let me get that towel. Ooh, nice and hot. Just you can hold it just on this side if you want. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh, that's nice and hot. Just heat it up. Get it all warm again. Mm-hmm. Nice and warm. One more time. Put pressure, a little bit of pressure, apply some pressure, and mm, get that heat in there. Now get a little bit of cream while it's still warm. Now watch what I do. Remember, you're trying to catch them heads. Not at an angle, perpendicular. 
when you do a per the perpendicular drag, it allow the head to get sliced blunt, straight, and then it pull this perpendicular drag, pull it right out of the roots. So you go right there to the mustache. Perpendicular drag. I'm using the right hand, right, right hand on the right side. This is more done than here. But I had to train my left hand. So you're going to have to perpendicular to the skin and just drag all the way back. Left hand don't, ain't going to, now put the elbow straight in front of you. Drop it down towards your stomach. Put, squeeze into your stomach and your chest. And you come right here. Pull tight, perpendicular, and just drag. That's it. Perpendicular drag. Come out right here. And just drag. Okay. Now, right here, depending on, you know, if you right handed or you left handed. Now, look. Right here, you go across it. Now, if you right handed, you come this way. Perpendicular. And just drag, perpendicular, drag, perpendicular, drag. If you left hand it, you put it in your left hand and you come this way. Perpendicular drag. All right. Now, when you're done with all of this, you feel your way through. And if you feel any budding a little bit around here or any bumping, but slight, small bump, that's about You go over it one more time. Light. Put a light measure here. It's good. It's smooth. But I really don't want no problems. I don't want nothing to bump up for me. So I, I usually just go over it one more time to be safe, you know? So I take this here, come to the mustache, do my perpendicular drag. And I'll just Pull the skin, you'll get a cleaner slice. So, as you can see, on this side, you get like a cleaner. Get that perpendicular drag going on. Okay. So, everything is nice and clean. Now, you run that cold water. I always say, you get cold water, cool it down, and then squeeze a little bit of this peroxide in it. And then, oh, that peroxide 
close with the cold water close up clean anything and now you back in business now if you're gonna be clean shade this is how you got to do it because now the peroxide go in kill any thing that bacteria germs anything that could have got in and then it closed everything back up and then because you did a perpendicular drag the hair is now going to have a desire to go straight out of the skin that's day five and as you can see i still didn't get ingrown hairs and any big bumps or pustules we can control it by how often we shave when we shave and how we shave by slicing this, the hair not at an angle perpendicular blunt cut to force it to come out because our hairs are already curly. If you have any questions, message me. I'll answer anything you want to get answered. All right, you take care. Till the next shave.